Greetings. This is Ayivi. Thank you for watching. To all our returning viewers and returning subscribers, a huge thank you to you for coming back to watch this video. I would also like to extend a very warm welcome to all our new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. The clip we are watching was made so that we can verify whether or not the aluminum column running in the two big picture windows on the right are aligned. And uh, I am satisfied that the fabricator lined up the two aluminum strips that are running in the two big picture windows on the right. As many of you do know, we are in the midst of fabricating and installing aluminum windows. And approximately four weeks ago, I was informed that um, Alutraco our products are no longer available on the market to continue with this work. So we've been waiting patiently for those materials to, to come back on the market so that the, the, the job can continue. So we're waiting patiently. Still a very long way to the finish line of this project. After the window installs, we're looking to accomplish four things. Installation of three electrical panels for circuit breakers on all three levels of the main building. Second, waterproofing of the two rooftops, the main building and the sentry box. Third, we're looking to put in wooden doors. And finally, we're looking to work on the kitchen. In this half of the video, I will flesh out ideas for the galley kitchen. In the second half of this video, we will check out Marcelo Beach in Lomé, Togo. We are in the space for the kitchen. Please appreciate. While watching this video, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up by clicking the like icon. Drop us a comment. Subscribe if you've not already done so and share this video with family and friends. Thank you. An idea for the galley kitchen. Cabinets and countertops against both walls. In this 23-year-old kitchen in the United States, you will note that the design on the cabinet doors pick up the design on the, the wooden doors to the left. We will do the same. Our doors design should match the cabinet door design. So this is the orientation of us coming into the kitchen from the alleyway, the outside door. Uh, the, you can see the cabinets lined up against the wall all the way to the door of the laundry room, using up all the space. Under this scenario, there is no sitting area in the kitchen. To create that, uh, we will remove those cabinets highlighted in red and the countertop. What this will do is create space to have at least a small table 
with a couple of chairs. Create a breakfast nook of sorts in the kitchen. A place where those in the kitchen can sit and have a meal or write something um, on the table. Uh, those in the house can congregate. They can come in and have breakfast in the kitchen if they choose. A place to live in the kitchen. This is the orientation of what the kitchen would look like coming in from the living and dining room. And that door is this door here, the door to the outside. So this is it folks for ideas about the galley kitchen. It could change, I must say. Uh, so listen, we spent quite a bit of time on this. It's time for us to head to Marcelo Beach. Stick and stay with us. Hi, there is a fork in the road ahead. If you veer to the right, you will head to the new fishing port. To the left, Marcelo Beach.
In the prior video, I made a statement about the port of Lomé, Port Autonome de Lomé, that was misunderstood by a number of viewers. So let me reiterate. And oh, by the way, in view is a container ship going into port. Port Autonome de Lomé due to its efficient operations handled more containers in 2020 and 2021 than any other port on the west coast of africa we are not talking about the area or the size of the harbor we are talking about the number of containers business it did thank you and there you have yours truly following full COVID protocol. Too far away from home base to catch COVID. And I know it has been tough, but all I ever wanted was your love. This ain't goodbye, babe. No, not today. Cause I know we could be strong